Hello, I'm Ken Moray, founder of Retirement Planners of America, and uh, this is the weekly market alert video for the week ended October 30th, 2020. And uh, I think if you've been watching what's been going on in the stock markets, you've seen that this has been a really <laughs> lousy week for investors uh, who uh, the S&P and the Dow both have seen some large declines. And I want to go over that with you and uh, talk about that. but. Uh, you know, even in the most uh, dire of times as we are now with the pandemic, which has affected just about everybody, um, I think having a little levity and some humor is a good idea. And uh, so, you know, last week I mentioned that uh, my birthday was coming up and that if you wanted to get me something, you could get me something little and red that fit in my garage. Uh, a Ferrari would be nice. And uh, I've been saying that for many years now. It's a running gag I've had. But guess what? Somebody actually took me up on it and they got me a little red Ferrari. And I'm like, how am I supposed to fit inside that? <laughs> how do I drive this? I don't think you understand what I meant. <laughs> so that's very funny. Um, now let's talk about what's going on in the market uh, and, and why we, what we see. Um, first of all, Let's go back to March and look at where we were then. Back in March, when the pandemic was first announced, the future was very, very uncertain. There was no, uh, there were very few people that knew what was going to happen. We did not know at that time that the Federal Reserve was going to jump in and practically buy up the bond market. Um, we didn't know that, uh, you know, there was going to be a, a $3 trillion stimulus package. We didn't know that, uh, you know, there was going to be all the stuff that's happened since then. And so without knowledge, our brain, we, we're designed essentially to be uh, to, for self-preservation. And so our brain goes directly to the worst case scenario. And in many cases, this causes big sell-offs in the market, as we saw uh, this year in March. Now, fast forward to today, we're in a different place now. We, we know a lot more about the virus. We know a lot more about how to treat the virus. We know a lot more about how the government is going to behave given the virus. We know what to do during lockdowns. Many company businesses have uh, figured out how to deliver, how to have you come and sit outside, bring things out to you while you're in your car. So we're, we're much more, we have much more information, much more knowledge about how to deal with the stuff than we did back in March. So therefore, the selling that we're seeing in the market right now, uh, it would surprise us greatly if it turned out to be similar to the selling that we saw back in March. Um, particularly when the one of the great drivers we think of the selling we're seeing now is that the stimulus package essentially was put on hold till after the elections. And uh, you know, certainly that's not a good thing in the short run, but we believe that after the elections, exactly when, we don't know, but after the elections, uh, there will be a stimulus package coming. And when it does, we believe that that will give consumer spending power and drive the markets back up. So the selling we're seeing now, we look at it as, uh, as potentially a buying opportunity. And uh, we believe there's a lot of money sitting there waiting for the selling to drive it down to a price they like. And we, we think that we could see them jump in at that point. The other thing also is that we are much closer today than we were back in March to a vaccine. Uh, in fact, uh, I read that there are 32 uh, potentially viable candidates for a vaccine that are being tri in trials right now. And uh, apparently one or two of them may actually be a vaccine. So given all of that, we think that right now would not be a reason to panic. However, we do have our invest and protect strategy in place. And should we get to the point where we believe it's time to take action and get out and protect ourselves, just as we did back in March, uh, we certainly will do that. Now, if you don't have an invest and protect strategy, my question to you would be, what if, what if it goes down 30 more percent or 40 more and it stays there? You know, what if we end up with a bear market like we saw in 2008, where the S&P, the stock market, went down 57% and it took years to recover. What if it takes three or four or five years to recover? Then what are you going to do? Are you going to are you going to be able to retire like you want to? Are you going to be able to support the lifestyle that you have like you want to? You know, I think if something like that happened, you'd find yourself in a difficult place. So I encourage you to visit with one of our retirement planners 
You can go to our website, click on meet with an advisor. We'll sit down with you. We'll go over our investment protect strategy with you. We'll go over how we think uh, you should diversify your portfolio. We'll talk about uh, social security decisions, all the stuff that has to do. So if you're within five years of retirement or you are already retired, then we would love to meet you. We'd love to sit down with you, see if we can help you. No charge or obligation, and we will part friends. So please take advantage of this offer, and you can do that very easily. Okay, so uh, now you may have noticed that I shaved. <laughs> My wife basically put her foot down. She said, no, the beard's got to go. And, uh, you know, in Texas, they have an expression that says that if, uh, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And I think all you husbands, you know what I'm talking about. But at the same time, there's also if papa ain't happy, nobody cares. <laughs> so, so thank you for watching this video. Please, you know, let us help you if we can. Go to our website and sign up for uh, a meeting with one of our uh, advisors. Thank you. Talk soon.